Here we go. Welcome to Sports Central. I'm Kevin Quankett. Coming up, lights, camera, action at Rams Media Day. And the streaking Yankees arrive fully clothed in Anaheim. But first, game five of the NBA Finals. At this point last season, it all fell apart for the Warriors. Up three games to one. They lost game five at home on their way to losing to the Cavs in seven. It's a new year, but just like last season, they're back in Oakland for game five. Warriors, their fans at Oracle Arena coming out to play, and so does LeBron. Dubs in foul trouble early. Kevin Durant picks up two early fouls. It should have been called for a third here. LeBron still throws it down despite getting hit in the face. And that non-call was a potential game changer. Warriors down one when Durant hits one of his five triples. Warriors take the lead. A few minutes later, here comes Steph Curry. 34 points and 10 assists for Steph. The Warriors go up double digits. It gets chippy near the end of the half with David West and Kyrie Irving getting tied up going for a board. West and Tristan Thompson get on the kiss cam. J.R. Smith, West, and Thompson receive text. Cavs keep fighting though in the third. LeBron James, the bucket and the boo-boo. He scores a game high 41 points. Deficit is six. The Durantula bites back. Durant with three of his team high 39 points putting Golden State's cushion back to seven. To the fourth, KD earning the finals MVP, just so smooth at about seven feet tall, gives Golden State a 12-point lead and making mama proud. Final seconds, Curry puts the icing on the cake. Let it rain. Warriors beat the Cavs by nine. Durant wins his first title as the Warriors finish the postseason with a 16-1 record and bring home Golden State's second title in three years. So they call us a super team. Durant adds a finals MVP to his 2014 regular season MVP. The offseason addition was a key to Golden State's run to this title, becoming the first player since Shaq in 2000 with five straight 30-point games in the finals. KD joins Magic Johnson and Moses Malone as the only players to win finals MVP in their first year with a team. Meanwhile, after working out Lonzo Ball last week and amid reports of his poor conditioning, the Lakers are set to work out another point guard tomorrow morning, Kentucky's De'Aaron Fox. Remember, Fox got the best of Ball in that head-to-head -head meeting in the Sweet 16, scoring 39 points as the Wildcats bounce the Bruins from the NCAA tournament. That takes us to tonight's Interplex poll question. Between the two point guards, who would you rather see the Lakers draft, Ball or Fox? To vote, visit our website, cbsla.com. As the Rams get set to open mandatory minicamp tomorrow, their best player still may not be on the field with them. Aaron Donald will reportedly skip this week's camp at Cal Lutheran, according to NFL.com, while his agents continue to negotiate a contract extension. Meanwhile, minus Donald, here's media day for the rest of the Rams today in Thousand Oaks. Our Jim Hill, too much sauce posing in front of the cameras alongside Todd Gurley and Jared Goff with a new regime and a new culture in place. There's already flashes of excitement as the season nears. It's early. A pair of local stars go 1-2 in today's MLB draft. The Cincinnati Reds set their sights on Hunter Green. You'll hear from the Notre Dame High Ace next. Welcome back. Time for tonight's Stater Brothers Market's hometown leader. The Cal State Fullerton baseball squad. The Titans beat Big West rival Long Beach State in the Super Regionals, advancing to the College World Series for the 18th time in school history, tied for sixth all time. The Yankees arrive in Anaheim riding a five-game win streak and boasting the reigning American League Player of the Week in Aaron Judge, who's holding court with a league-high 21 home runs after two more yesterday. As for the Halos, they took two of three from the best team in baseball, Houston. The Yankee judge, fans always come out to the Big A in droves, and they want to see the judge top one with a runner on. Alex Meyer gets the MVP front runner swinging. Meyer would K him twice on the night to the seventh. Yanks up 3-2, and Cameron Mabin doubles to left center. Danny Espinosa scores from second to tie the game at three. But in the eighth, the judge swinging that gavel. Why'd they pitch to him with first base open? Two-run bomb for his major league leading 22nd homer. The Yankees beat the Angels 5-3. A couple local prep stars ready to make their mark on the majors. Royce Lewis and Hunter Green are the top two picks in today's MLB draft. Lewis is a shortstop from San Juan Capistrano J. Serra. 
Green is an ace pitcher from Sherman Oaks, Notre Dame High. And while Lewis is seen as a surprise top pick by the Twins, Green was billed as the number one prospect. Green's Notre Dame High School teammates putting their data plans to use. Thanks for letting our camera in the house, boys. A big day for their top ace and newest Cincinnati Red. I've been, you know, blessed. What a great moment for that young man. As for the Dodgers and Angels, the Halos draft outfielder Jordan Adele from Ballard High in Kentucky 10th overall, and also add UCLA pitcher Griffin Canning in the second round. Picking 23rd, the Dodgers select Jaron Kendall, an outfielder from Vanderbilt. Oakland definitely in the house. Another NBA title for the Dubs. We'll hear from two-time MVP Steph Curry on their latest finals triumph. Recapping our top story of the night, the Golden State Warriors are NBA champions for the second time in three years, beating the Cavs four games to one. At 16-1, and one, the Warriors tied the 1983 76ers and the 2001 Lakers for the fewest postseason losses by an NBA champion with a big thanks to their finals MVP, Kevin Durant. You know, we're obviously just getting started. Just getting started is right. That team is going to be scary for years to come. All right, tomorrow the Dodgers play in Cleveland and the Angels host the Yankees. We'll have all the highlights for you right here on Sports Central. Hope to see you then, and thank you so much for hanging out. Have a great night.